John, how did you come up with the idea of Mapleworth Murders? Well, I was trying to come up with ideas for myself to be in a show and I had huge writer's block. And my wife, Sue said, why don't you think of something for Paula because she's the funniest person we know. And I went away and five minutes later came up with this idea that she would play a murder mystery um, novella writer, um, much like Murder, She Wrote. And then uh, pitched it to Paula and she immediately said yes, because it just fell into place of, she's just, she is this character. It's not a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Abigail might wear a little bit more uh, controlling undergarments because I don't wear girdles, but I'm kind of Abigail with lo a little bit longer hair. Love it. And Paula, could you please tell us what Mapleworth Murders is about? Mapleworth Murders is a sort of nostalgic uh, in its style, um, timeless small town crime procedural uh, that is an homage to things like Murder, She Wrote and other BBC mystery murder shows. And it involves this town that like everyone knows each other. Uh, way too many people get murdered in very strange murders uh, in strange settings. And it just becomes a, a commonplace, but yet they only have two cops who are very bad at what they do. And so Abigail knows murder because she's a murder mystery novellaist. She's never written a full book, but she, you know, she knows that she has to use her skills to try to solve these. And she takes it upon herself all the time with no boundaries whatsoever, crossing all police lines. That's your Love elevator it. pitch, right? That's my spiel. <laughs> <laughs> and John, you know, um, can you please describe your character, this bumbling cop? I love playing a character who is very um, clueless and also clumsy. Also, once again, not too far away from myself. Uh, <laughs> he just has a mustache. Um, but we just always thought that Gilbert playing off of Paula, this, this low status, clumsy goof with Paula's high status, um, murder mystery solving kind of thing would be a fun thing to play with. And it, it was just very close to our own relationship, really. And then we added the crush in there, the sort of dead end crush he always has for me as, as a fun thing to play throughout. 